Good morning, guys. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. How are you all doing? Well, I don't know what it is about taking these trips that makes my eyes get so irritated, but my eyes swell shut like they are right now. So it makes it hard to read and hard to see and I'm very light sensitive. So I'll be spending the day inside now that I'm back from this trip. So I'm not going to do an axe video today because I can't hardly see. Like I said, I don't understand why my eyes do this, but they seem to do this almost every time. And they just get irritated and swell up and all kinds of weird stuff. Anyway, maybe it's because I'm getting going to the different climates and different pollens. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get my eyes back squirted today. I usually use hot compresses on them and that usually makes it go away after a while. So, uh, we'll try to get caught back up tomorrow tomorrow. Uh, with Axe and get back into the swing of things and um, back to doing our daily prayer with the scripture. And this morning I just want to offer a prayer of thanksgiving and of praise to God for the wonderful things that he does for us and for what he's done for me on this trip and for my daughter and the blessings he's poured out gratuitously on, on all of this. And to offer him thanks for you guys because your prayers were answered during this trip uh, all the way around. And... Um, just how can you not give thanks knowing where these things coming from are coming from knowing that the father of lights is involved in this how can you not give thanks so that's what we're going to do this morning and because it's a great opportunity for me to close my eyes because <laughs> the light hurts in fact turn that off Oof. just turning that light off makes all the difference Father, we come before you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ to give you praise honor and glory to lift you up and sing praises unto your holy name to praise you, to bless you, to give thanks to you for the wonderful blessings you pour out always. Most of my prayers this last few days were silent because I was either around other people or in a vehicle, but I have to give thanks openly for what you did in this situation concerning my daughter and giving me an opportunity to be there, an opportunity to share some very in-depth conversation an opportunity to talk about things on a totally different level, a level I don't think she's arrived at with any of her friends. To talk about subjects that most people don't get a chance to talk about, especially with their kids. And to come to terms with things that probably had never been hashed out, but now are probably pretty clear. An opportunity to do something good for her, to, her life to help her put, push her forward. And to make things easier, to take problems off her plate that she doesn't have to stress over. And instead, make sure she has her focus on the more important things she needs to do to get her life going. And most importantly, I want to thank you for the open door opportunities to share truth with her. To share the gospel with her. Not in a direct fashion, but in an indirect fashion. Sometimes those conversations are hard to approach directly. But there were opportunities for me to interject scripture. To interject your words spoken by you in the Bible into situations where they were very applicable. I feel like maybe, maybe some progress was made, at least some seeds were planted. And I feel like maybe there were some opportunities to show her some things that she probably didn't know about me, about you, about herself. At least I hope that's the case. I want to thank you for answering our prayers. I want to thank you for answering the prayers of my brothers and sisters who, who shared their love for me and their love for you in this situation and were patient with me for while this was all unfolding when I didn't have opportunities to film. I'm going to thank you that even though they're, you know, these things are a struggle a lot of times, they're so worth it because even the smallest of opportunities is, has the highest amount of value. And my hope and prayer is, Lord, that you get the glory out of this, that uh, another one is added to the church, that uh, these seeds will grow, and they will grow sooner rather than later. And more opportunities like this will present themselves. Father, I pray you pour your blessings abundantly out on my brothers and sisters for showing me such a great deal of love and for helping and coming together like this on such a situation, a situation they know nothing about, yet they offered their prayers for this. I pray that you continue to protect us and to teach us and to show us that your truth contained within this word, that my eyes will heal back up again and I'll be able to see and read properly 
and we can share your scripture on this channel again. And most of all, I thank you, Lord, that you have saved us. I thank you that you have opened the door to your heaven and given us an opportunity to enter through our Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you that you have just without measure offered us the highest honor of becoming your children, of becoming sons of God. What more is there than that? What more important thing exists than that? Nothing. In this momentary speck in eternity of called our life, it doesn't even comp compare to the grandeur that is you and eternity, to the grandeur that is your love and your wonderful, wonderful salvation. And we thank you for that salvation. We thank you for your mercy and your grace and that wonderful love you show us. We thank you in Jesus' name for being our God, for saving us, for, for looking upon us and regarding us. And, and in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for daily prayer. I'm, I'm, I cannot express how thankful I am for you guys and for uh, all your prayers. And, and I'm thankful that he has answered those prayers so abundantly. And I'm really learning a lot of patience personally. Patience and to let things unfold the way they're supposed to unfold. To let things go the way they're supposed to go. To not be in a hurry. To just exist and to just watch and to step out of the way. And when the time is appropriate to act, then act. Right now, hot compress for my eyes because they are so irritated and they hurt. But there's always an open door on the horizon for somebody. And I hope that one of us is there for that person when the time comes to give them at least something. Whatever is appropriate that will have the greatest impact to maybe just plant another seed. And I'm so thankful that we're the ones that are saved and we have the ability given to us by our God to do those things, and to those, those opportunities and those, those honors to glorify him in front of others. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you guys. Love you all very much, and I will see you in the next video.